financial product, legal or taxation advice of to the suitability of the product and services described in this session for your particular objectives, financial situation or needs. Financial products and investment advice given in this session include or cast an opinion with general advice only. Any testimonials or discussion are provided voluntarily without payment, inducement or other benefits and are from genuine clients of One Life Propriety Limited. This advice has been prepared without taking into account your particular objectives, financial situation and needs. Assess the advice yourself or seek the help of an advisor. Financial product advice is provided by representatives of Financial Planning Works Propriety Limited, ACN 0037804007, Australian Financial Services Licensee Number 247180. Good evening everyone. Welcome to the Quantum Coaching Webinar. It's a pleasure to have you all with us this evening and we will get started. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up the Quantum Coaching uh, PowerPoint to the screen so that you can uh, uh, follow on with uh, the content of the program for tonight. We uh, have Kelly Lowry in the room. Hi everyone. We have Roy McDonald. Hi everyone. Great to be here. And we have a very, very attractive group of people sitting in the room with us also this evening who are a combination of uh, existing coaches, one life and supersonic coaches. So wonderful to have you all on the call. Uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go through the following, um, uh, when I can get my clicker to work, uh, go through the following um, PowerPoint <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get the uh, PowerPoint uh, to, uh, here we go, great. Okay, so tonight's topics, what we're going to cover is, uh, firstly we're going to have a look at the significance of the GFC and how that has um, really created um, uh, some very, very interesting and uh, opportune times for what's going on in the coaching industry globally. Uh, we're going to look at what are the current trends for coaching, which Kelly is going to talk about. Uh, what is the quantum coaching program and what, what our intentions are here with what we're providing you. Uh, and uh, we're going to do an assessment and look at really uh, are you ready to launch a coaching career? So we'll go through a little diagnostic process. So I would request that you have pens in hand so you can take some notes through this presentation and become clear of um, um, the, the information that we're covering. We'll have a look at uh, your style of coaching because all of us are different and we all are, we all have different characteristics and how we work, which is perfect in coaching because there are so many different styles of coaches, there's so many different styles of working with people and all of us have a gift and value to offer. So we want to go through a little exercise to help you understand what your style is and a focus point for you with your coaching. And we will go through some content of the program, not all of it, because it is a very, very comprehensive manual and process, but we will touch on the key areas of the program and then really look at the benefits for you and your existing or potential future clients as a coach. And then we'll look at what's next, how we can get involved, how you can work with us and what the opportunity is. So uh, how about we get into it, guys? What do you say? Fantastic. So... The significance of the GFC in coaching, what we have found uh, working with many, many people looking at their current financial situation, where they're at mentally, financially, spiritually, it's, uh, it's quite apparent that there's a lot of overwhelm, confusion, people are stressed out, they're, they're seeking answers, they're, they're, they're looking for better ways. Uh, it seems that society really has been structured and been operating in a certain way which really just isn't working anymore. What would, what would you say on that, Kel? Well, definitely change is always uh, questionable. It brings up a lot of people's 
you know, questions and fears, I would say, when there is the unknown because we are quite used to being ordered in life, told what to do, controlled, in a box. And when that box starts to give way, the question is, it's like, what next? Mm. And so if you, if, you, uh, if you choose fear, often it could be a downward spiral. So what I'm finding is many of the clients are asking for direction mm. on what is next. And often it's the perfect time, I find, Trev, to reevaluate your whole situation and also to reassess who you are and to go inward for a period of time instead mm. of look for the answers on the outside. Hence coaching is brilliant. You know, and then start considering accountability and responsibility within that. So it's a perfect time to grow. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, with all of us here uh, working with a lot of people, uh, the, the coaching opportunity that has really arisen in the world is that it's people have become very, very conscious of being able to reach out to experts and being able to shortcut the process of being able to find the right answers and by talking to specific er experts in every area, financial, uh, spiritual, health, vitality, diet, nutrition, employment, career, there are so many different ways that we can coach and lead people and uh, what I'd like to say here when I use the word coaching that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to work as a one-on-one -on -one coach or a group coach with an individual. Coaching is a role that we are now fulfilling in our roles as parents, as partners, as uh, co-workers, as managers. It's developing these skills and abilities to be able to really take a look at ourselves and look at the individuals that we're interacting with to really be able to develop better relationships where everyone gets a better opportunity to win. And Kelly is going to talk to us shortly about the trends of coaching and um, and the significance of coming into the community and, and, and what that's creating for people. And what I would say, Trev, is also we coach in life. Everything we do is coaching. It doesn't matter what role you're in, you are coaching people at some level. We always have experience and skills that we love to share. As human beings, we do that. When you look at a coaching program and accreditation with a company like into ours, with One Life and, and Quantum Coaching Program, the difference is you're going to be paid for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and people often say, well, what does that mean? It means the things you love, the passion and your purpose, you're finally going to get paid for it and you're going to understand how to charge for your coaching services and abilities. Mm -hmm. So that's always an exciting thing. Yes, to always, take. always nice to make more money in that really talking about the GFC and coaching and this is where people have traditionally made money and how they thought that that was the way it works has changed so much. So it's put people into these stressful situations and that's why they're now reaching out to find other ways to earn money, take care of their families, but also this growing awareness that there's something greater. Mm -hmm. They have more value to offer and they want to fulfill on that and they're not happy with just doing the norm. So, Kel, that's probably a nice segue into talking about the trends of coaching. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. if you were able to talk to us about uh, what's going on in the area of coaching. In the coaching business around the world. Yep. Well, I'm a futurist. I love, I love chasing the trends and seeing what, uh, you know, what is occurring in the next 12 months, the next 5 years, the next 10 years, the next 20 years. Because whatever, uh, I, whatever I achieve within my own businesses and wherever I want to expand, I always want to know what, you know, I'd rather be rising up on the top end of the wave as opposed to the crashing side. So I can assure you you're in the right place at the right time because coaching, one of the two largest uh, areas of trends that are going to be expanding exponentially in the next 5 to 10 to 20 years is one is wellness and uh, and that's that's some something that I know that's the highest value for myself, Trevor and Roy. And the other one is coaching. So I am excited to share that with you. And this year's coaching study trend is the biggest ever, with 1,000 coaches from 117 nations now. So coaching is spreading rapidly. Uh, in extrapolating that data, there are 47,500 professional coaches around the world. 
So 47,500 coaches, professional coaches around the world right now. And if you look at the population, it's certainly not enough to cater for the people we have on the planet. With the highest paid coaches per capita coming from Australia, yeah, so yeah. we really do hold a uh, a really great wage level when we look at uh, at coaching and the demand for coaching, and really respected here in Australia. Exciting enough, that will be expanding too. The, it does look to be that as coaching grows, so does the um, consideration of paying the coaches, that grows as well. So total annual revenue from professional coaching worldwide is now nearly $2 billion. It's doubled in the last two years. So when you're looking at trends, you certainly look at growth and that type of growth is phenomenal. Most coaches are reporting an increase in fees, clients, hours and revenues over the past 12 months. Despite the global economy that it's all doomsday out there, I've got to share with you, that coaching does even better in a poor economy. So this certainly is the place to be. Yeah. So Trick, that's a little wrap up. I mean, um, just to give you an oversight of what's happening out there. Uh, some so a little bit more detail around coaching and, and the insight moving from 2013 forward is coaching growth. The number of new professional coaches will be expanding and continuing ballooning. Uh, until the economy settles. And when is that going to be? Well, we don't have a crystal ball right now, but I would say uh, a period of time. How long do you say, Roy? Another 10 years. Yep, that's exactly what I would say. So at least another 10 years. Um, coaching reach. Coaching will be no longer considered exotic for only the rich and famous. It is becoming as common and personal as becoming as common as personal training. I mean, every second person is a personal trainer these days. So, can you imagine also cupping with your wellness industry um, some personal training if that's your interest as well, and coaching? So, um, it will be very, very popular moving into the next ten plus years. The coaching delivery is anywhere in the world. So, can you imagine with technology? Um, providing us easier solutions these days, that it's an excellent option to be able to coach clients anywhere in the world, whether your clients are anywhere in the world or where you are. So you could also, it's a great uh, role to um, and skill to have up your sleeve if you choose to travel. Coaching fees. Coaching fees have traditionally been quite high uh, since the coaching inception around the world, but levels of this will uh, will differentiate. So what will happen is you will have more elite coaches coming forth and being paid uh, higher amounts and they will deliver a higher end service and then you will have mediocre coaches who will be delivering a different service and then you'll have other people who always want to get on that downward wave <laughs> as the waves rushing out the door when all our quantum coaches are, are highly experienced and trained and trying to jump on the bandwagon. So that's why it's so important that you have regular training, you're always what I call plugged into your coaching community and that's something that we do offer really well here at One Life is the coaching community and connection and training and education that comes from um, us being your mentors and um, and also the facilities, the techniques, the coaching skills are always ever rapidly expanding. So Trev, more dramatically as a result of coaching's growth, society will evolve with more people living value-driven lives. People will upgrade their expectations of life and will uh, find creative ways to satisfy their new standards. Non-professional coaches will exist everywhere in society and many people will relate to one another with a coach approach. So it will become common for people to be coached at every stage of life. Whereas you know, what we have seen in the history is people would go to TAFE or university and places mm. like that. Now the challenge with universities these days is they're finding it so challenging by the time they get to the end of their year of curriculum, it has already been superseded on the planet. So it's, they're in a real quandary. But what we do is we fast track all our coaches. Instead of doing four years in university, you have the great ability of having us as mentors 
and the education that we bring in so you don't have to do that. So we're, again, we're riding the wave always up on the right. So very exciting, Trev. Mm. I'm very, very excited about our coach approach through quantum coaching You know, between now, 2013, and at least onto the next 10 years. Fantastic. Thanks, Carl. What I'd like to share now with you, is, with you guys now is, um, what, is uh, what are some key elements of the coaching program? And, uh, and there's a lot. Uh, however, with time uh, permitting, uh, I've, I've attempted to bring it into a succinct uh, list which uh, gives you a general overview. Uh, and really what I see at the top of the, of the list of our program is it's a really an opportunity to learn about yourself and really understand what your ideal flow is and what makes you unique. Because I don't exactly know how the saying goes, it was quite poetic, but it's, it, the, the, the true journey is our own inner journey. And uh, it's not a matter of what's going on out there in the world, but it's, it's really that exploration of finding out who we are and what is our, our ideal flow. And that's something that's very close to my heart and I know it's very close to Kelly and Roy's and it's really finding out what that is so we really can be our best and, and live the life that we want to live. So we, we spend a lot of time on uh, that in various ways that are very exciting and I won't tell you now because it's uh, a secret, you have to be at the program to do it but it is, it is life changing some of the stuff that we've done um, uh, at the program. Uh, the program is designed to teach you how to understand people's wants and needs because if you're going to be working with people, it's very, very important that you get clear and work through what is it they really want in their life and, and then uh, to be able to identify how they can get it because uh, a lot of people firstly don't know or they, they do know but they're too afraid to go after it or the all the fear comes up and all the stories. So it's really being able to have the tools and abilities to be able to work through that with people so they can get what they want and really live more into the life of their hopes and their dreams. We have got a whole series of coaching tools and processes that allows, allows you to take people through a process of transformation. So it's, it's applying a structured process with giving you the opportunity to have creativity and flexibility. However, we've found that when people have a structure to work to, they feel more confident, they feel more at ease, uh, and it allows them to, to be focused and do a better job at what they're doing. Uh, you become a part of a community of like-minded, inspired people, so you get to work with amazing, awesome people such as ourselves and all the other coaches that are, have come through our program and are working with us and are starting to come into One Life and also building their own coaching practices. And uh, learning how to bring balance, health and vitality into all aspects of your life because what I see and what I see people that are really getting what it is what, that they want from their life, it's getting clear on having that balance. And if we want to live a rich, abundant life, we need to be looking at all areas and balancing them out as best as we can and having the tools to know how to do that. Uh, we'll be looking at discovering how to build a successful and profitable coaching enterprise because I know for a fact there are many people out there that probably have far better skills than I do and are making no money from coaching. Uh, so we want to be able to give our coaches in training the skills and abilities to be able to go out and enrol people into their coaching service so that they have the opportunity to share those gifts and talents with their clients to be the creators of transformation on the planet and to be able to have that skill to sell and enrol someone into your program and to run a business that's going to be profitable is key. And then also to develop your level of focus and discipline and accountability so that you can build the life that fulfills your passions and purpose because really we need to be able to know what those disciplines are and to really have that accountability so you can move forward. I was chatting to a client today, Kel, a very smart woman, very good coach, but she said the reason why she is getting things done is because she knows I'm speaking to her every two weeks, which helps her stay to account 
and helps keep it disciplined. And it's not that we're always doing anything that's necessarily rocket science, but it's having someone to check in with, someone to share with, someone to uh, discover and explore ideas with, which helps us keep moving forward and keeps us out of our stories and keeps us away from fear and keeps us at cause. So that is what I see as one of the most powerful outcomes of working with a coach and working with someone like yourself. So Kelly, we're up to, um, are you ready to launch a coaching career? Mm. And uh, so what Kelly and I were talking about earlier was giving you an opportunity right now, guys, to get a pen and paper out. And what we'd like to do is we would like to propose these questions to you because we'd like to see where you're at and whether coaching is for you and whether this is a space you're already working in that reinforces what it is that you're doing or it's something that you are thinking about and want to get some further clarity as to whether it's the right direction for you. So, Cal, I might let you uh, go through these questions here and we, we can talk about these together with, for, the, for the people listening in. Certainly, Trev. Thank you. If I could ask that you have on your piece of paper, and just draw a line right down the middle and put onto the left hand side the question and the right hand side your answer. Now let me also say, coaches, you need to understand that your first thought is usually intuition. So always go with your first thought, what comes first to you. Don't sit there and then try and edit and re-edit and re-edit it. So what, the first question is, what is your purpose on the planet? Please write that down. So your purpose would be, like my purpose, I was talking to Trevor about this a little earlier, my purpose is making a difference and raising a higher consciousness on the planet. So that's my purpose. So it could be to inspire, to educate, like whatever it is that you feel your purpose is. If you're not sure, that's okay, right, not sure. If you know exactly what it is, write what it is. Question two, do you know what your passion is? So again, for me, my purpose is making a difference and raising a high consciousness. How I do that is through my passion, which is coaching and connecting with people. So it might give you a little example for yourself. So left hand side, do you know what your passion is? And the right hand side, to answer. And if you're unsure, again, write unsure. Or exploring. Number three, do you have a desire to work and connect with people? A desire to work and connect with people. Number four, would you like to be paid for coaching and mentoring people? And I'm going to throw this one in, it's not there. Would you like a six-figure income <laughs> underneath that? Because you're doing the right business for that. Number five, well it's actually number six. Number six is, would you like to have more confidence and improve your communication skills? I'm going to go to our live audience here. <laughs> I'm going to ask you really quickly, how did you fare there? Pithy. Actually, I found the, the first question really difficult. <laughs> Purpose. Um, uh, lots of things sort of came to my mind, but nothing um, really um, Stuck to me, I suppose, as much as probably just children, you know, came up, my kids, mm. and just um, doing an awesome job. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes, I, um, I had already done these questions from last week mm -hmm. when I listened to it, so I just looked at them again, and the thing I had written down for, um, uh, you know, do I know what my purpose is, and it was Yes, and mine was to, to, to make a difference, to to mm. to um, yeah, to, to share, to to connect with people, 
I think that would be a wonderful thing to do. Um, for my purpose, I, I've written um, Make a Difference. I think I just suddenly heard you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can right, have yeah. two of us on the planet can make a difference. Yeah, yeah, That'll be great. The first thing that came out was Submit to the Truth. Submit to the Truth. Mm. Very nice. Um, what I've actually had down is a, what, the first one you put the question out, I think came up was aliveness. Mm. So actually, um, aliveness. Yeah. So inspire people so they actually come from that space. I, I, what I love doing is when I actually speak to them, I, and just to see the physiology mm. and things like that, and actually see their faces just light up. Mm. Just the questions that get asked. Beautiful. So, awesome. so Michael's was so, to inspire people. So the purpose there is to increase awareness in mm -hmm. um, wellness, um, wholeness, um, well-being and mm -hmm. health. And wellness, healthy. wholeness, well-being and health. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And um, particularly in the areas of um, potentially connected to like your masculine, your feminine, mm -hmm. your money, your business, yep. your enterprise Absolutely. and sexuality. Um, so uh, in those areas, in those areas yeah. Brilliant. Thank you, Michael. So what I'm hearing here is there's a, a bit of a common theme running, which is making a difference, inspiration, innovation even, and perhaps to what you will find when you do ask a question, often it sits with your lingers. And it might be, first of all, uh, one answer, and then later you might be lying in bed and thinking, oh, there's something deeper there. So it's a great place to question because often, and when you are coaches and working with people, you're going to be asking these questions. But I must say, if in those six questions you have a yes, 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 if you're unsure about your purpose and your passion, that's perfect. Um, but definitely, if three, four, the six-figure incomes, yes, and five is yes, then certainly quantum coaching is for you. It's definitely for you. This is, you're in the correct place at the correct time. Come on in. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, thanks, Cal. That's fantastic. And guys, I know a few of you are wanting to ask some questions. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll just go through these couple more points and then we will open up uh, the webinar for questions. So we will definitely get to you. I just want to let you know that. Uh, so. What I'd like to do, guys, is I'd like to just take you through a quick exercise about knowing your coaching style because some of the conversations that I've had some with people, especially especially recently, probably because we've been focused on quantum coaching, <laughs> is, oh, Trevor, I would love to be able to coach, but I just don't think I can. I'm a bit shy or I, I don't want to get up on stage and speak and, and, and all the variations of that, those types of conversations. And what, what I've discussed with these people is gotten clear with them around what it is that they love, what their passion is, and really that is what it comes down to and what their values are because I have uh, seen even the four people we've got sitting here in the room with us this evening, they are four very different personalities. However, they all have their own unique style and their own unique gifts and talents, which I know because I've seen them communicate, I've seen the difference that they make and uh, so it all works. It all works, Kelly. And just with it, what, and I'll get you to share, Cal, in a sec from your experience. I just wanted to say why I've put the disc profile up on screen is firstly to say we don't all fit in boxes because we don't. We all are very complex and very unique. However, it's just a tool for us to give us a general guide for where we may want to either continue to take our leadership and coaching skills or a space for us to understand where we can work best moving forward. So if you can see the screen and, and um, you can have a quick look, if you're the type of person who's very directive, very um, um, strong-willed, very driven, you're going to know who you are and you're going to know that that's your style. Now, these type of people are very good at running organisations and, and being the drivers of change and as you can appreciate, can be very fast and quick and high-level results-driven coaches. 
We then have underneath, we have the conscientious type person, which is more your quiet, conservative, uh, attention to detail and quality, who can also be very good coaches. I have an accountant who is very quiet and very good with numbers, but he's very good at being able to sit with you and work through your business plan and direct you in the way that he's going to have you in financially. So it can work there also. And then you have on the other side, which is the steadiness or the supporter, which can be very much the, the caring, <coughs> supportive, collaborator type person. Might not necessarily be excited about getting up on a stage and speaking to 20 people. However, does very well to work one-on-one -on -one and really build those beautiful, co um, connected, long-term relationships. And then we have on the top right-hand corner, which is more the enthusiastic, influencer type person who is um, generally quite talkative, outspoken and social and they have their own unique skills and abilities to be able to influence. So it can all work and um, as we know everything is perspective and perception so how we look at our own unique gifts and talents and how we can perceive that to be a benefit to work with people in the style that is easiest for us to work with. So just something for you to consider guys, just a little bit of value to share with you there around just some self-exploration and we do a lot of work here on profiling with people so that they, they have a better understanding of who they are and how they're best in flow. So as part of this program we will go into more detail around the DIS profile and general profiling tools so you are going to feel really excited about who you are and see yourself as perfect as you are. Did you want to say anything on this, Kel? Oh, I, actually, I was going to add to uh, your comment initially, which was around a lot of clients or, that, that I find uh, do go through and complete coaching. Their first thought was, I can't. Uh, I'm too shy. I can't do it. I'm not as good as you because they see themselves as a reflection of you. Well, that's who they need to be. Well, back over here, I'm not... You know, if you look at profiling, I'm certainly not the quiet one <laughs> or overly accommodating. Um, so what I would say is that there's certain people that will be attracted and magnetised to me to want to coach with me and gain the most from me. Although after coaching for so many years, I found that I, through uh, upskilling, let's say, around rapport building, that I can quite quickly lock into where somebody is and mirror them back anyway. And they're, they're again skills that you will learn through the coaching program. So you will have the ability to coach uh, all types of profiles. And naturally you need to start somewhere and that's at the starting line. Mm -hmm. And you move your way through. Yeah, great. Thanks, Cal. Well, guys, I, I gave you a little bit on the... Uh, um, general content of the program. However, because we want to give you so much value, I want to give you a little bit more on the content of the program. Just thought we'd break it up a bit. But these areas are more specifically on the training areas in the program. And so, as I talked about earlier, the uniqueness of the flow, we're going to take you through the four stages of how we learn everything on the planet. And this is a fantastic strategy and methodology for you to learn how to acquire new skills in any area and how to be able to inspire and coach and lead other people to be able to get whatever it is that they want to learn in their area of their life. We'll look at how the brain works for success because there's definitely some right ways to have the brain work for us as our servant as, for, as opposed to how it does for many people which is sometimes a crazy master. We'll look at the psychology of excellence and really get into what it takes uh, to really live an excellent life. We have a whole series of transformation tools uh, which anyone can work with regardless of where they start because some of the people that I've been speaking to about this program have had some trepidation around their level of experience. However, as Kelly just said, we all start from where we start and that's, exact, and that's absolutely <coughs> perfect. And these tools are very easy to use and anyone can use them, no matter at what skill level. Again, creating mind, body, spirit balance. And then what it takes to become a peak state coach. So really understanding how to get in a peak state uh, because we really do have an endless source of vitality and energy and it's really learning how to access that. 
and there's a couple of people in the room here who are very good at that. Uh, how to enrol people into your service. So how to effectively communicate with people to have them get enrolled in what it is that you do. We'll look at how to conduct a coaching consultation, so really how to take people through a co coaching process from start to finish. We'll look at building a successful coaching business and how we do that. How to conduct a client di diagnostic, so really how to get clear on where people are at and where we can take them. And uh, a little bit of language here, uh, and I'll explain it, which is how to get people from effect to cause, because what happens is for people is they're quite often at effect of their surroundings and, uh, and people can quite often be stuck in that space so it's really how do we get them back at core so they're moving again so they're feeling productive and, and feeling excited again for what it is that they're uh, going for in life. We will look a lot at the importance of understanding what your values are and how to really create a compelling vision for your life because unless we have a target to shoot for, how can we ever hit it? And this is a skill that needs to be developed and mastered. And for those of you who've done our Life Magic program and done our work, this is uh, a tool that we, and a process that we, you know, take very seriously. And for those of you who haven't, we will work on this area also. And the importance of goal setting and the power of setting goals and focus. And I know that this is a spot that we're all very passionate about here. Um, I'm going to share with you uh, one of the things that I do. I have a whiteboard next to my bed and I literally have my top five goals written there and so every morning I wake up and I see those goals and every night before I go to bed and it is amazing the power of how those goals continue to show up in my life. And I, Roy is going to talk to you about uh, goal setting and um, a couple of things that he would like for you guys to do in this area. The importance of plans and having an action plan because unless we put it down on paper and have it in a structure, how is it going to get done? And this is very, very important. Not always a nice thing to experience. However, once we grasp it as a discipline in our life, the joy and the euphoria that shows up by getting things done just makes your life so much easier to live and it's going to make your client's life so much easier to live. We'll look at accountability, responsibility, how to improve your confidence and your communication, your motivation and your energy, and then how to track and measure your performance for success. So a lot of great stuff is going to be in this program, action-packed, full of great content. Uh, so I could go on and on and talk about this. However, I think what we'll do is we'll move towards the end of the presentation and then I'd like to bring Roy on because I'd like him to share some um, information with you. And also, Trev, just to add to that, you will learn how to set up your coaching business from virtually step one through. Mm. So don't be concerned. There's a lot of information there. Step one will be how to set up my business. And part of that is enrollment and registration. So how to create clients, how to create leads into your business. We do a lot on that. So, you know, realistically, it's virtually... Um, business in a box where you can open it and it just goes on forever and ever and you have a huge manual, coaching manual to take home with you which is full of techniques, um, tools and resources that you'll have virtually forever. So Trent? Okay guys, what I'd like to now do is I would like to now uh, get uh, Roy on um, to have a chat to you guys because he's got some great stuff he'd like to share with you. So over to you Roy. Absolutely. Do you, you want to have them to ask some questions? Though? Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll get Sam in. Excuse me, guys, and I'm because I'm just going to pull down this uh, PowerPoint presentation, and um, we will get you guys um, get your guys' questions answered. Yep, that's great. Wonderful. She can ask questions. Yep. Just take a time. I mean, I'll put their hand up. I think Trevor, if they want a question. Yep. Thanks, Sam. <coughs> So guys, um, if anyone's got any questions, please um, just uh, put your hand up and we can, uh, we can uh, answer any questions. What about Team Geek's got a question? Uh, David's got a question. Oh, he's just saying hi. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. <laughs> How about telling everyone the dates? Uh, yeah, so the dates are, are next Thursday the 15th to Saturday the 17th. 
three full days uh, from 8.30 registration for 8.30 commencement uh, till 5 p.m. Uh, Thursday, Friday and 6 p.m. Saturday evening for um, for um, final, oh, what am I looking for, the word graduation? Um, for uh, completion. For completion. completion, excuse me, for completion. Okay, Roy, it looks like everyone's happy there. Yeah. So no other questions. So, Roy. Um, Just let me come in a bit closer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up close and personal. So hi Tamara, I can see you there with a lot of the guys on, online, so welcome <laughs> to you. And uh, I'd just like to just tell you how grateful I am to be here and have our beautiful people here as well, live in the in our studio. <laughs> we're downstairs in my office uh, doing this because um, currently we're knocking a hole in the wall, opening our business up, doubling the size. Come into our, our program uh, this weekend. so. Uh, and all of them pretty well, well but probably five or six will be actually in the coaching program and need coaches, so if they haven't already been allocated. Uh, Kelly covered five questions about what's your purpose and what's your passion and uh, would you have a desire to work this way and uh, would you like to be paid for working this way? These are great questions. And uh, you know, would you like more more confidence and improve? Uh, many areas in your life. And the sixth one that you didn't ask. I think I did ask six, but I kind of like squeezed it in mm -hmm. between Trevor. Yeah, that was about the six figure income. <laughs> well, the seventh one, though. Seventh. Was, uh, would you like a plan and a strategy to achieving this? Mm. And um, I have my three year game plan that I'm working with some of the people in this room and uh, some of the few people here on, online. And I know this plan works because I work it. And I worked it with others to make it work. And it's a very simple plan, just 2000 a month to 4000 a month to 6000 a month to 8000 a month and doing one real estate transaction and the end result is 100000 a year. And if we just keep going up another 2000 to 10000 every quarter. So we're doing it very slowly. And by the end of the second year, we're at 200000 and by the end of the third year, we're at 300,000. It's a very simple plan. And what I'm going to be doing is I, I would like to see 100 millionaires out of our program, and I believe they'll start with coaches. Because as, as uh, uh, Karen, um, Kelly said, and as Trevor confirmed, this is the greatest growth business in the world. Mm. Adult education currently is the greatest growth business in the Western world. In the, um, I'm just showing these guys, and for those who are watching this, a little ad here on uh, Think and Grow Rich. Um, this is the workbook. And of course everyone's reading Think and Grow Rich and they all know the 13 steps, of course. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm reading it again for, the, I think, I don't know how many times I've read it. And if you want to get this book, it's a download free on uh, iBooks from iPhone and you just flick through it and it's nothing. In iTunes? Yeah. Well, it's actually iBook, as is um, the goals um, book on an iPad or an iPhone uh, with Tracy, uh, Brian Tracy, the greatest book ever written on goals as far as I'm concerned. Mm. I'm a great goal setter, but I just love his book. Hear, hear. I agree. Um, that is also on an iBook uh, and therefore just played on your iPhone. Word for word with Brian Tracy telling you, it's ten bucks from Audible, um, as is um, Think and Grow Rich on Audible. And in fact, on our assessments, we'll be going through Think and Grow Rich, and we'll be going through this Goals book. So I suggest if you're serious about this, that you get them. But the eighth question that we didn't ask is, why would you do this? And the answer to that question is very simple. Apart from making that difference on the planet, it makes a difference to you. Because mm -hmm. you, you, if you want to lead someone, you've got to lead yourself first. Mm -hmm. and you can't lead anyone if you don't lead yourself. The unhealed can't heal anybody. And so the healing is actually with you. And the most important reason you do this is for your own family. Because they will be the recipients of this beautiful coaching that you do. The, the great work I do get to work with Trevor and Kelly, and Kelly's 
a mentor for me. And she introduced to me my major mentor, who is um, Mai Wen. And she teaches us we're just consciousness and energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go there with Katrina and we go for a realignment. And we get aligned again. <laughs> it's a bit like your wheels, you've got to get your alignment done, you know, because you're sort of crooked all over the place and things like that. There's more alignment for me than there is for her, but I... Yeah, could you could you work much harder. Okay. <laughs> so I've got forward rights, and she's just got regular <laughs> wheels that work aligned by themselves. In Think and Grow Rich, just for your own story, and in this workbook, we're going to be working with all the coaches in our next session, a workbook you take home and actually work through step by step. It's a different book from the Think and Grow Rich Straight book. It's a very specialised book. And uh, if you remember, it was desire, number one, number two, faith, number three, auto suggestion, number four, specialist knowledge, number five, imagination, number six, organised plan, number seven, decision, number eight is persistence, and number nine is the power of the mastermind, our, our uh, dream team. And number ten, it's one of my favourite, the mystery of sex transmutation, which always has men think, and women actually wake up from the conversation as well. And uh, number 11, morning. the subconscious mind, and number 12, the brain, and of course 13, the sixth sense. Now, this material is so, so valuable, um, and again, being a product of the product is just so, so important. In these, we'll cover them in detail. One of them is that specialist knowledge, and I just want to refer that to you, and all of you will have a direction. And with that um, mindset, whether it's emotional fitness, it's personal development, spiritual growth, whether it's finance, whether it's um, uh, business, whether it's relationship-based, whether time management's your thing, whether goals are your thing, or as in Kelly's case, health and well-being, and she covers all of these anyway. Whatever you are interested will be where your specialty lies. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be working with people in relation to that plan uh, and have you be a specialist and a generalist in the sense of all the coaching area. The biggest training that I, I want to do in my section will be about the business of the business. And um, I pick up on um, your comment here, uh, Shane, about um, truth will set you free. When you really embrace the truth, life actually begins. So the area I want to just finalise with uh, uh, is that we have got such a program set up mm. and I want to make a special offer to our team. We made this to the last group mm -hmm. and it's the first time we've done this, mm -hmm. uh, so this becomes the second time. And that is that uh, our coaches that we want, we, we want a small team of very, very effective people. We want them in every state as we've got a lot of clients. Mm. I want to make it clear my, our job is not to supply you with every client, we just happen to have a lot that need help. However, we want to teach you the business of the business so you can build your own business independent of that. And um, what I'd also like to see, and, and that's why I'm suggesting this, is that uh, if you bring a person along with a friend, the second person pays half for the program, so it can be really interesting for your own cost and doing the program. And um, the other special thing that we're doing is that we're setting everyone up with a, your own personalised website. And this website um, will have a back office to it, will have all of the tools that you'll need to be part of our One Life Coaching and it'll also help be health related in its activity. Now. We're offering that to anyone who joins now and all our existing people will get this as well. So that a site that is so clever, so supportive and such leverage for you that um, uh, I really think it's such a, an asset because websites are going to be your future and, and your image of who you are in all of what you're doing. So we're providing that for our One Life Coaches. <coughs> Um, and I guess uh, what we need to know is uh, who's in. Who's, in? <laughs> who's on first? Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, it's $2,400 for the program, 
uh, which is um, for about fifty bucks a week. Uh, sorry, about fifty dollars a month as a payment on a credit card. And um, that's one coaching session. <laughs> one coaching session. Yeah, because our base coaches are fifty dollars now, which is double the average in this country. Um, that is, the average person gets about twenty-five dollars an hour, fifty thousand a year. Uh, a lot of people get a lot less than that. So at fifty dollars as a base coach, it's a great start. Given we we provide the client at that rate for ourselves for our for our business, and of course uh, coaches get paid seventy-five and hundred dollars and all different amounts, and thousand dollars. So lots of money you made. So uh, hands up those who are here on this call uh, who are in. And uh, tomorrow that'll be one of you. I can see you already. <laughs> Good. Well done. So anyone else? Welcome. Uh, welcome to you. So we'll be in touch with. And there's some more. Good. So you guys um, will come online. Uh, Tamara, I'm just going to get you online. I assume you you got your thing set. Uh, how are you doing there, Tamara? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing down there in in uh, uh, Melbourne. Melbourne town? Yes, surviving Spring Carnival, so doing well. Good, good. Yes, you you made it through yes yesterday. That would have been interesting. It was. <laughs> the only only time. You've got a husky voice. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, the only, if I was going to rob a bank, I'd, I'd rob it on um, Robin Cup. Cup Day. There'd be no one there. There'd be yeah. all right. Exactly. I'd pull off the greatest crime. I'm never into this, but that would not be what I would do. But mind you, my mind is very bent. So. We won't be able to coach you on that in the coaching program. <laughs> no, no, no. Very very much. Much. So um, just a little, if you like, testimonial of what you've learned so far on the coaching program for yourself personally, Tamara. Oh, wow. Well, um, there's been um, significant learning just um, about myself and the way that um, you see things and the the way that you are able to listen and hear different um, different things when you're um, in the right state to actually uh, really hear and that there's several different ways that you can actually listen. Um, there's so many tools that um, have been provided that are just there's. They're great. They're um, they're fun. They're easy to remember, and um, they're they're just really effective because they'll um, they'll guide you in any situation that you find yourself in. You can go back to some uh, really simple stuff to um, to move you forward. So um, that's probably just a little bit, but there it was. The learning has just been extraordinary. So there's just so much in there. I I take the rest of the call and some if I I went on with any more. Well done. Well, it's a pleasure working with you. Um, and of course, when we met you, you were already into a few things that perhaps you shouldn't have been into. Yes. Uh, not that there were illegal things; that were just perhaps uh, uh, decisions uh, that, I, with hindsight, you perhaps wouldn't have made. Do yes. you want to just mention, just briefly, without the detail of that, the importance of had you had this coaching prior to making those financial commitments? Absolutely. It, um, I suppose it was thinking I knew um, and making decisions without necessarily um, having considered a different way to look at things and the um, opening up of just how to, to consider things differently and that there is always multiple perspectives and there is, um, there's just so many ways to, to tackle any one particular um, task that the more information that you've got on hand, the more powerful position you can actually be in, and as a result of that, obviously the um, the better decisions you make. Well done. Well, uh, I'm just very grateful for you and grateful to have you in in our program. You've made a difference to my life as well, and uh, you're a sensational young woman, and you are such a uh, an inspiration for others as well. And to see you climbing this ladder as you are every time we have our communication and our mentoring, I just see you grow, and it's thanks extraordinary. You. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much, Tamara. We're just going to ask. Uh, we've got a, 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 a hey, Hayley. Hayley. Yeah. Hey, Haley, can you hear us? Um, I can hear you. I'm not quite sure if you can hear me. 
I sure can. We oh, the whole the whole of Australia can hear you. <laughs> oh, fantastic! I hope I, did I yell that? I'm sorry if I did. That's all right. We we were, we we all sort of got blown off our chairs, but we're back on now. <laughs> hey, Haley. So, um, so wonderful. You're you're int you want to come in and uh, do learn how to become a coach with us. Uh, what what stood out as the the key learnings for you this evening? Um, I think just when I was going through just those few questions, they really sort of rang home to me and I'm really probably in a position now in my life where I'm really starting to uh, do a few things and, and head into a career and I was never quite sure what I really wanted to do. So it just really feels good It just resonated with you. It really did. It really did. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do, Haley, is I'm going to connect with you tomorrow morning. Is that okay? And um, we'll we'll get the various bits and pieces organised for you and um, uh, get you get you in to do our wonderful program next week. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Haley, for being on the call tonight. We'll um we'll put you back on mute, but it's not that we don't love you, but we will talk to you tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Haley. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, guys, well, uh, it's been a pleasure to have you all on the call this evening. I will be calling all of you tomorrow to connect and talk to you about our program, get your feedback, uh, find out uh, where you're at and how excited you are about coming and being coaches with us. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have you on the call this evening. I know most of you uh, that has dialed in this evening and I, I know all your very unique skills and talents and I personally feel that this program can be of wonderful benefit for all of you because I know the skills that you have and how you can offer those out to the world. So thank you for your time this evening and uh, thank you to everyone in the room. We've got some very attractive smart people in the room and uh, they're all doing wonderful work already in the area of coaches and we've got a couple of people that are actually going to be doing our program next week in the room. So that's, that's a joy. Uh, so again, I will be in touch with all of you tomorrow. It's been a pleasure. I will say good evening for now and just uh, hand over to Kelly and Roy to say goodbyes. Thank you. Thanks, Trev. Exciting to be on the call with all of you this evening. I just wanted to leave you with the one statement that coaches always take action. So if you're sitting on the fence, take the action, the necessary action. It's not a greater time on the planet than to be a coach than right now. Mm. So I look forward to seeing you guys next week in quantum coaching. Thank thanks, you. Carol. And uh, thanks so much. I'm grateful to be on this call with you and be in this room with wonderful people and with my um, co-coaches uh, here and mentors. Um, and I, I just want to yeah, confirm with uh, Kel about action. Um, all wealth is action, precise action. And a coach is designed to be the laser beam mirror of that action. And um, action that's not precise can actually be dangerous. And um, a coach facilitates that action uh, in the most precise manner. And in, in sharpening your own sword, you sharpen their sword as well. And, and that's what I'm grateful for, to be a coach and mentor. So I'm thankful for allowing me on this call with you, Trev, as well. Thanks, Roy. Thank you. Okay, coaches and wonderful people of the planet, thank you. Uh, we'll be in touch tomorrow, and it's been a pleasure having you on the call this evening. Thank you. Good evening. Good, Good night. Evening.